All right, guys. Sorry for the background noise right here. This is my uh, this is my C240 Duo charger. I'll tell you guys a little about it later. I told you I was gonna give you an update on these human power batteries. All right, guys, and this is the situation I'm in. So I've had four of these batteries so far, and out of two of them, I've had to go balance them. Okay, on the first one, I let the charger do it. And it actually took all night. Well, this is the solution I've came up with. I've seen a lot of videos and a lot of them are complicated. This is kind of easy, you guys. All right, so you just take two bread ties. All right, and you take the alligator clips that come with your charger. And see, you realize this is a six cell LiPo. Right now I'm charging it one amp on a nickel metal hydride sitting. And we're up to 3.1 volts. And checking the temps. And it it was down to maybe 2.5 on two cells, guys. And the rest, the other four cells are still at charge at uh, storage voltage. And this other one. You see it's balancing pretty good. You see one cell is barely off. The other cell is almost exactly the same. So it's like with these batteries, it's like a 50-50. I'm going to actually go through in a few and do a, a resistance check and see. Maybe they're just on shelves. Because these, these set I actually got on sale. They're like 100 bucks regular. I, I caught them on sale for like 75 for a two-pack. So maybe they, they were just trying to get rid of old um, the inventory. But I mean, they run really well when they're running. They last a very long time in my car, and you know, the only problem is for some reason, um, they they just don't stay balanced well when they're in storage, and I'm not for sure exactly what that reason is, but I've heard a lot of people say that that's a problem with the cheaper batteries, is they don't balance well, and I'm guessing that's what's going on here. All right, so when this finishes and I get a chance, I'm gonna cut back and I'm gonna show you guys how I did this and figured out which one was the charge. All right, so we got it charging still. We got it up to three, five, six. Once I get it up to three, seven, we're gonna go to the next one. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do what I'm doing right now. <laughs> All right, and the problem earlier, you guys, it probably would have charged, and I'm gonna show you what I did wrong. All right, this is, you see LiPo 1S right now? I had to go to LiPo charge. I was trying to balance charge, and you can't balance charge a 1S. I'm so silly. So I got a LiPo charge, one amp, one S. All right, Let's see, she's charging. And the reason I'm at one amp is because these are 4,500 milliamp hours. These are 4,500 milliamp LiPo's. But that 4,500 milliamps is made for those thick wires. So I'm going to charge these at one amp because we're charging through these small wires. Especially these bread ties. These bread ties are not made to conduct electricity. So I don't want to stress those out. What you see right here is how I have it connected to my multimeter so we can figure out which one of the cells are the bad cells. And you can see right here how 
as this is wired in series, if you just start at one end and you work your way up, every cell will build onto the voltage of the previous cells. So you can see as we go from the bottom all the way up, you can see how each cell adds to the voltage of the battery. All right. Now I'm going to show you how I go through and test each individual cell right here find which cell is the weakest cell or which one needs to be charged singly. And I want you to notice I never pull both of the leads out at the same time. I always pull one out, put it back, and then move the next one up. And you can't see it right now because my hand's in the way, but I start with the red lead. And I always keep the red lead on the same side as the red lead on the battery. And we found our... All right, cell. now you can see all I did there was bring my exact same alligator clips and connect them. I disconnected my multimeter and connected it to the charger. All right, you see this is side one. And you see, we do not use this during this process because we're focused on that single cell that we saw was way below where it needed to be. Now, I'm pretty sure on LiPo, it's going to say it's too low. All right, let's see what happens. Wait, wait, wait. Let's change this to one amp. Sorry about the light, you guys. Trying to make it clear as I can. There we go. All right, LiPo. Let's see what happens. Okay. Oh. I'm so used to the um, balance charger. So on this one, I didn't have to go through the other step. It's charging it as a nickel metal hydride battery first. But if it doesn't take as a 1S LiPo, if it's too low, go through first and charge it as a nickel metal hydride just to get it up to at least around 3 volts. And then go through and charge it on LiPo at around 1 amp. A lot of times they say divide it by 10. So if it's a 5,000 milliamp, which would be a 5 amp, you would, you would divide it. It would be a half an amp. This is a 4500. I'm running it on one amp. I'm, I think these wires can handle one amp. Um, I've, I haven't had a problem with it so far, but it really probably would help the charge at a half an amp. We're just going to see what happens here. All right, right now, you see it's bringing the voltage on up. And so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get this as close as I can to the other five cells, like I did the other one. And then if I have to, I'll just leave it on balance charge all night and we'll see what happens from there. But you can see right now, um, the setup's working. It's charging as a 1S LiPo. And then you see, the, I didn't have to spend any money I didn't have to make any modifications to my charger or any wires. I didn't have to solder anything. I just took some bread clips. I stripped in with some regular wire strippers, you know, on the smallest set in here, like the 18 to 20 gauge wire here. All right, I'm going to balance it out and see what happens.
The dreaded walk. Everything looks alright.